we're ready to assemble the box now. And what I've done is I have a board here to support because I'm going to have the case open like this when I put it into a standing press. The standing press is over here to my left and this has the space in it that uh, will allow me to uh, compress the box. You don't always have to press the box uh, to put it in but I think it's a good idea especially with a large one. The other preparations I've made is that I have prepared packing boards that actually fit inside the box and there's additional packing like this that pyramids up so that when I put the pressure plate down on the pressing the pressing board uh, it will not hurt the side walls of the box. So I'm going to put these things aside and then I'll put the box in position on the case and press it toward the spine like this. Checking my head and tail to make sure everything is in the right position. I can glue it out now. So I'll close the case onto the box and then I'm going to turn it over and take the center box, take the small tray out because we're putting the large tray in first. Okay. And then I'll put in the first board that fits the box exactly. And then boards that almost fill and the ones that will get it uh, keep the pressure plate above the walls of the box. So now I'll put the box into the press like this. and screw the top plate down. And I'll leave it here for probably about 10 minutes and then I'll take it out and do the other side. Oh. The last thing we have to do for the box is make a spine strip. So I've got the small tray here and I've cut a board which would be the equivalent of the fourth side and this will be mounted inside the case after the uh, after the trays have been mounted. So with this piece like this I'm going to uh, I've also cut covering paper that matches the lining paper. I'm just going to glue that out and cover the board. I like to cover the long sides on this first so that if there's any buildup it's going to be on the ends here when I turn the edges. And here we are with the fourth side. It's time to pull the uh, box out of the press. So,
I'll pull this out, put the packing aside here. Pull out that, and we have a nice solid join for this. Now, to put the second one in, I have a special board also for this one that fits. I'll put that down, down here for the second, and then we'll just glue out the box. And now I'll put this in position inside the, uh, the larger tray and bring the case around it. I'll turn it over. And I'm going to put this into with the press. Put the packing in again. And now I'll put this back in the press. And we'll leave this for 10 minutes. The box has gotten out of the press now. And the last thing we have to do is put the spine strip, the spine strip into it. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to first glue this out. Okay, then I'm going to stand up the small tray and put this in so that it becomes the fourth wall. This is the little strip that keeps air and, and light out at the spine when the box is closed. So even though it's not exactly in the center here, it will be when it closes, when the box closes. So while that's drying, I just put a little weight on it, and the box is finished. And here we are with the finished boxes. You see if they have a little uh, suction as they open up. <laughs>